Hey guys, it's Cypher and in today's video I will build a age device which I will explain to you all about it. And because of the lack of name, I will call it Tempo. First of all, let me explain what is age device in the world of IoT. An IoT age device is an internet enabled and typically compromised of sensors. These sensors collect data and then pass it on to the processing unit. And if I'm not wrong, in this project my router or mobile hotspot are act as gateway. Now let's talk about the hardware. In the first part of schematic we have the components which are responsible for supplying the power for our microcontroller, sensors and other. I used LM1117 and LM2576 to receive different voltage I need. Today's video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, JLC PCB has got you covered with their top-notch service and user-friendly website. Simply head over to jlcpcb.com, upload your PCB design files, select your preferences, and your custom PCBs are on their way to you in no time. With JLC PCB, you can trust that your 6-layer PCBs will be manufactured with precision. JLC PCB offers free via impact technology for 6 layer PCBs, affordability for customers without compromising on quality, and guarantees fast delivery with a turnaround time of as fast as 48 hours. And here's the best part if you sign up using the link in the description down below, you'll receive a $60 new user coupon. And now back to the video. I'm also using a dip switch for controlling the power inputs. It's helped me to control which part of the PCB will be powered and also which input voltage is can be used between USB Type-C and DC power jack. Now that our first island is soldered and complete, let's proceed to next point which is our Ethernet schematic. For Ethernet part of the schematic, I use a W55000 chip. The W55000 chip is a hardware TCP IP embedded Ethernet controller that enables easier internet connection for embedded systems using SPI. The microcontroller for this project is my favorite ESP32W room version. Maybe in future I switch to ESP32S for external antenna, but we are good for now. And let's not forget about reset and flash button, which I always do. These two help me mostly during the programming of ESP32. In order to obtain cellular connection, I use a SIM800L. SIM800L is a miniature cellular module which allows for GPRS transmission sending and receiving SMS, and making and receiving voice calls. The DHT22 is a basic low-cost digital temperature and humidity sensor. All the data we need will be delivered from this sensor, at least for now. Later we can add more nodes to our sensor network. Data logging is an important part of any IoT device to keep track of data and perhaps system errors that we need to know about in the future. And the PCB is done and ready for next step. And also here is a sneak peek to what is going on inside a SIM800L. For next step, I fired up the Blender software and designed a simple case in order to give our project a better look and protect the components. Unfortunately, my printer has been acting funny for a while and I can't get the quality I wanted for this print. But for now, let's move on. Before we test the device, let's do not forget about the antennas. I'm not using them at the moment, but it's good that they are ready to use.
For this video my plan is to use ESP32 Wi-Fi and Ethernet in some type of harmony. Meaning when the internet connectivity is available from W5500, ESP32 do the processing and in time which internet connectivity is not available from W5500, ESP32 Wi-Fi comes to action and handle this part as well. As you can see when the ethernet cable is not connected we still can communicate with the server to send the data. Also for this part of the project I use things that speak cloud servers to monitor the humidity and temperature. This project is far from over and a lot left to cover. So let me know in the comment section if you like this project I will upload another video about it in future. And that's it for today's video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I see you guys in the next video with new project.